shell, so I stepped on his arm and mm -hmm. I broke it. Okay? Dog jumped up in my lap and I thought broke it. If you say, Randy, I got this 2016, what, this is Jayco, right? No, who is Coach it? Forest, Forest River? Yeah, Forest River. Okay, this is a Forest River. Let's work call. <laughs> um, and I need a shelf for my refrigerator. And you know, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm going to look at you like a deer caught in a headlight. <laughs> All right. So if you tell me, Randy, I have a Dometic model number DM2652. Mm -hmm. And now I know exactly what you need. Okay, um, which brings us to warranty. When you do warranty, where are you guys out of? San Jose. San Jose. Okay, so you only just draw it over here every five minutes, right? right? <laughs> okay, so uh, when you do camp out this direction, you get mm -hmm. free dumps. Yeah. You get um, an extra deal on your propane and stuff here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just let the lady know at the counter there's no compressor. Mm -hmm. The only thing this is like at home is you get stuff full. That's it. <laughs> now, blessings that you have is under your awning. Mm -hmm. It's an average of 20 degrees cooler under your awning. Okay. When you're out in the sun, it's going to make this refrigerator work not as hard. Because it's cooler out there. It's being shaded. Okay. Okay. Second thing is, down here, guess what Huh? You might want to water. Sure. I'm you. I'm good right now. Okay. Yep. All right. So you see this thing right here? Uh huh. This slides up and down. Okay. okay. Warmer, colder. So we can move it up like that. Now it's colder. Um, not really, cause that just kind of didn't work very well there. So you got to pull it out some. Get that far as it'll go. This back. There we go. So is that the uh, temperature gauge? Yeah, that's the thermal probe. Th yes, okay. sir. So this is what's doing it right here. That's what the man where the magic comes in. Now, what you want to do, if you're in a hot, real hot place, yeah. put some insulated, I call it putting a sock on it. Okay? You put it over the top of here. Mm -hmm. Now you're full in this thing. It's not as cold as it is. So I'm going to stay on longer and get colder. Because you can't adjust the temperature. Mm -hmm. But you can by doing that. Okay. Okay? I was with Food for Less Racing for about five years. And you talk about hot, you get to Las Vegas Motor Speedway on the infill. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it gets hot. And I don't want my driver complaining that his beer ain't cold mm -hmm. or his soda ain't cold. Because <laughs> they can be mm -hmm. little prima donnas now and then. Yep. So... Um, yeah, no, we actually took an RV to Vegas in, uh, in, oh, so, in August, so. <laughs> you, so you've been where I've been. Oh, yeah. Now. So when you're in Vegas, run that one and run uh, that one, you know. Okay, so what will happen when you guys unplug from the house, uh -huh. it's automatically going to go to gas. The problem is, is it doesn't tell you that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you go to gas. Now, if it didn't function correctly, uh -huh. check light would come on. Okay. Hey, I need a light off. Maybe I forgot to. Mm -hmm. Or it's the tank. Okay. Um, now, if you've got the generator going and you're driving down the road mm -hmm. and you're running your air conditioner, it's, this generator will handle it. But what you want to do is conserve energy. You don't want to run your uh, generator at 9,000 RPMs just because it'll go there, right? Mm -hmm. Just like our pickups and car. So what you'll do is you'll take this auto of auto uh -huh. put on gas there's 900 watts right there yep. your water here you want to make sure that's on gas not on electric but generally we don't drive down the road with our water heater on uh -huh. okay even though it does not have a pilot this does not have a pilot okay. it's dsi direct spark ignition your furnace does not have so a pilot just the oven exactly okay. just that one down there uh, and we we're working fine on gas right now. Uh -huh. Or that light would have came on and said, Randy, hey, I'm not working on gas. Okay. Problem is, how do you know? <laughs> okay. When you open this up, the light's on. That's how you know. Okay. Okay. Um, but that's it. Norgold, they're smart. They put a little orange light here for me. Uh -huh. Let me know, hey, it's on gas. Um, all right. Down here is your converter. All right. This is what charges the batteries on your RV. Whether you're driving down the road, whether you have it plugged into the generator, whether you have it plugged into shore power, 
you're getting two amps. Why? This is what's doing it. Not the generator, not the short power line. That converter. Okay. That's why solar panels are so important. And they could be putting six to nine amps into your battery pack with the you're only getting two normally. Uh -huh. right? But this is your circuit breakers and fuses. So if you blow a breaker on the microwave uh -huh. and you go into the bathroom or where is your GFI? I think it is in the bathroom. Colors. Is there one is that right GFI? here too? Yeah. No, it's oh, a G okay. it's it is a GFI protected, but not where you push the button. Okay. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. So in the bathroom is where the button is uh -huh. to reset it, like out in the garage, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that because of where it is on the sink, it does. Okay. You just washed your coach, and all of a sudden your microwave goes out. You uh -huh. pretty much know what's going on. We got 110 plugs out there. Uh -huh. They got wet. So let them dry out, go in there, and hit the button. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And we already went is there that. a way to turn the uh, converter off so it's not drawing the... No. So it's just... It's this. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you, what the converter is doing, though, this might help you, it's taking 110 mm -hmm. and turning it into 12 volts. Okay. So if you're not plugged in or you don't have the generator running, guess what's off? Mm -hmm. There you go. What's not going to go off, even when you turn off your, because you have a disconnect switch, mm -hmm. is the LP carbon oxide detector. Okay. Okay. That's going to, once it gets to 10.4 volts, it's going to drive you insane. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to tell you, hey, beep, 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 beep. Uh -huh. yeah, in fact, we test drove it and then kept going off. They thought it was the uh, battery in the... Well, yeah, I seen some of them. They replaced yeah. the CO detector. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, so, know that, that, the, that your LPN carbon monoxide detector, which is here. Okay. Uh, right here. Gotcha. Um, that is a low voltage detector also. Okay. Uh, even though you got two batteries, I got a call from one of my customers last night. Mm -hmm. uh, they're out in the boonies in Tennessee, and they're wondering why their batteries keep going low and dead. Well, they're not plugging in anywhere. Mm -hmm. They're using their furnace. <laughs> That's a big blower motor. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, there's nothing wrong with your system. Yeah. You got to give it time to get built back up. Or, you're add, not or add some, some solar panels. Or add some solar panels. <laughs> right. When you get here and they're going to tell you your batteries are fine, mm -hmm. then you come over to my counter and I'll put some panels on here for you and we'll yeah. keep that from happening again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. okay, bathroom. Okay, there's really not a lot for me to show you in here. You got this light here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is manual. You have to crank it and hit the button. Yep. Okay. Uh, toilet. First thing you want to do. This is redneck. Here, here it comes. <laughs> half a half a cup of vegetable oil. Okay. Pour it down there. Mm -hmm. Have you ever poured vegetable oil over a piece of ABS pipe and then tried to pick it up? It's like wrestling on a, a you know slick paint. Okay. All right. So you pour that down there first. That's going to give you your slick fifty. All right. Down the pipe, so that toilet tissue and stuff goes. Mm -hmm. When you store it, you're going to store it with that much water in it. Okay. With a teaspoon. Of oil. Vegetable oil. Okay. Now there's products in there called drain lid. Mm -hmm. Guess what it is? Oil. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so you put a little bit in there. <laughs> Lord knows we spent enough money on our to do that, right? So when you go to put water in this bowl and we're dry camping mm -hmm. like we are right now, yeah. you have your water pump on and you just press a little bit on that pedal. Okay. Yep. It will fill it up to the level that you desire. Alright? And then when you're all done business, you mm -hmm. hit it and it dumps. Right. Never dump it till it's two thirds full. Okay. Okay. Grace, we can open the valves and let them rock and roll, but not the black tank. But you have a black tank flush. Okay. So when you get ready, if you just want to go out for the weekend, mm -hmm. I'm not that guy that's going to the next campground. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Okay. I've been spoiled. I've been in the RV business for 30 years, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not going to do that. But you guys probably the weekend, you're not going to fill that thing up. All right, at least, unless you're getting some really good food and mm -hmm. give me the restaurant that you go to, all right? But um, what you do is you put a half a cup of pine salt in there because mm -hmm. you're not going to decompose waste matter in two days. Okay. All right, so that'll take care of your cleaning and your new right mm -hmm. Then when you get where you're going to dump your tanks, you go out there and you put your garden hose, not your fresh water hose, up to the mm -hmm. black tank flusher. Mm -hmm. You turn it on and have somebody in here looking at the monitor until it gets two thirds full okay. or full, but two thirds is good enough. Mm -hmm. Turn the spigot off, pull the handle. 
we have gravity feed. We don't have that inch and a quarter drop per foot like we do in a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need that force to press everything out. Okay. Once that's done, then you go back and turn on that spigot with that valve open and a sprinkler in there. It cleans mm -hmm. all your probes and stuff for you. Uh, toilet tissue. Mm -hmm. pick, pick up a roll of fed for Aquasoft. It's the best. The domestic stuff is like just one stage over a sandpaper. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, when you're at home, take a piece of yours off and mm -hmm. a glass of water. If it dissolves overnight into a milky white substance, mm -hmm. you can use that toilet paper. Okay. okay. If you see biodegradable and you're at Rayleigh's or mm -hmm. something, you know, um, buy a roll of that. Mm -hmm. Test it before you use it. Okay. Because you don't want to pay me for doing a paper mache thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even I do side mm -hmm. jobs now and then for mm -hmm. clients that I've known for years. Mm -hmm. I don't do them like I used to. I ride a Harley. I enjoy my weekends. Mm -hmm. But I don't pull no punches when I gotta do that. Okay. You're paying me sixty dollars an hour for coming up and sixty dollars an hour for every hour I'm there messing mm -hmm. with that thing. And I'm <laughs> not gonna give you a discount. That's the grossest. Not working with that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're my fault. Anything yeah. else but that. Yeah. Anything else but that. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm running all the way to get my Lincoln pillow. <laughs> this is your uh, controller for your air conditioner and your furnace. Okay. Right? So we're going to turn the thing on here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it's going to tell us. Turn it on. Okay, so far it's not telling me nothing. All right. It's 64 in here. 56 degrees. It's on cool now, so I should get. There, here, there we go. Now we go over here to this thing. Now, when you guys first turn on your air conditioner, mm -hmm. you're going to do this. That's going to cool this large oh, area down mm -hmm. first. Okay. Okay, now that's on high, sir. I can drop that down below. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, once you get it good here, you close this. Now it's going through these vents. Oh, okay. Say it's just you guys, mm -hmm. right? You go there and turn all those vents off and then force some more air back out of this direction. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and it's probably a good idea to keep all the windows and vents closed to yeah, let that work better. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But, now you got about eight people in here. You can the vents or you can go and yeah. you're going to get condensation mm -hmm. from the window. Yeah. Alright, so now I've got it on auto, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit mode again. That's furnace. Now okay. furnace is going to come on. I hit mode again. That is heat pump. Yeah, it's got a heat pump. That's cool. So uh, you know what that is? No. Air conditioner turns into a heater. Okay. Yeah, you remember those hotels mm -hmm. where you had the big one in the right. wall? And you go cool or heat. Right. That's the same thing. Have. Okay. Here's so, the other thing too. Instead of $700, mm -hmm. it's about $1,200. Okay. <laughs> So what's the difference between using the furnace and the heat pump? Though? The heat pump's electric. Okay. It don't go through all your, uh, I want to get this to the off position now. You just got to keep hitting this until it goes to the off down there. And then the blue light will die out. Okay. okay. But yeah, your furnace, here's your furnace. It's the biggest pig you got. Let's say we're just dry camping, right? Mm -hmm. It'll suck your propane down in a weekend. Okay. It'll take your two back battery pack and put it to nothing in a weekend uh -huh. okay now you got solar yeah you'll get some built back up but still that furnace is a pig uh -huh. that's not so if you're plugged in somewhere uh -huh. and you don't want to burn up all that lp Bam. turn it to heat okay. pump and then you're just using the electric heat here gotcha okay yeah. hear um, that honey no <laughs> You want me to tell her? Yeah, she's no, like, okay. she's sleeping. Uh, yeah. All right. You get surprised. I'll, right. I'll tell her, don't do this. Okay yeah. to do that. Our, our, our <laughs> coach is a little bit cooler than we thought. Mm -hmm. All right. Sandy's going to turn it again. This, we're just showing you that mm -hmm. all this stuff works. And they work independently from each other, even yeah. from outside, right? Daniel yeah, Boone! <laughs> this is why I tell all the time. Okay, we're doing that one. Uh, that remote. Yeah, we're, we're dating ourselves with that. <laughs> uh, here's your DVD player. This is the one that was giving me trouble. I couldn't mm -hmm. find the remote. Okay. Right, we'll put that back in there. Uh, that does go to this TV. I know that's kind of a weird place for mm -hmm. it, but you didn't want to hang it on the wall right here. Right. Um, you do have Max Airs here, and they have become my favorite. 
Okay. Um, so what you do here is we open it up. Now what we do is see what we got here. Um, hold to unlock. Oh, oh, okay. So I can lock the vent so no one's messing with it. Mm -hmm. I tries to go through it. You already got covers on it. Okay. These are called Max Air Twos. Okay, so we're gonna go fan on. Okay. So here's the fan on switch, and you see one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So it should be. So suck your up. ball cap yeah. off, man. Okay. All right. So. Um, does it reverse and no, come in? It's only going out. No, this ball doesn't reverse. Okay. If you ever feel like you want that, you call us up. There's mm -hmm. an upgrade. Okay. That you don't change everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just pull down and replace the PC yeah. board in there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we can turn it off and close it back down. But you can drive with these things up. Okay. Because you have those max air covers on there. Um, now, how about, you know, you leave it out and it's raining, where you're, are you going to get... No, because you have max air covers on there. Okay. So if you didn't, yeah. So... You, your bed would be how soaking about the, wet. How about the AC? Would be the AC? The air AC air? up on top? Yeah, that's, it's gasketed. Okay not sealed so that every like if you went to alaska and beat the tar out of her mm -hmm. you're gonna want to pull that inner shroud down mm -hmm. on that air box okay and get up there and give it a star fashion on the bolts because it, it's a clamshell effect mm -hmm. okay so when you every once in a while when you're doing your rooftop maintenance mm -hmm. get up there and do a little of that air conditioner on the rear end okay if it moves guess what we need to do mm. tighten it up Okay. Okay. I think if you read the instructions, it's a half inch between the base plate and the motorhome. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you do it more than that, and you get some guy with too much machismo or doesn't know what a clutch on his drill is all about, <laughs> he could bend that drain pan. Mm -hmm. And then when you guys got it going through your vents here, mm -hmm. you'll be getting sprayed. Okay. <laughs> so the condensation water is going to come in yeah. and hit you. Okay. Uh, let's see where that switch right here. That switch right there. Now, the other thing is on your closet, there's some tape on those things. Mm -hmm. And you can take that off when you feel like it. Okay. It is right here to protect it, keep it nice. If you want these things to work and not break, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, then here's what you need to do. They're designed for you just to shut, right? Mm -hmm. But if you open it up first with your thumb, Put your stuff in here. The guy is in hers here. So you can close your stuff. Of course, most of it will be hers anyway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we close this up. We lift it open right here with our thumb and then close it. Mm -hmm. It's meant to go boom, put the brake constantly. And guess what's not coming? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so we open this up. Here's our, our you know, guy yeah. section. You don't got flawed. And then our shoe section there. <laughs> For camping, mm -hmm. of course, this is kind of more like glamping. Mm -hmm. right? It's kind glamping. of like glamour. All right. Glamping. Glamping yeah. is what we're calling it. <laughs> Phone charger. Okay. 12 volt charger there. Um, but it's all you do is take that little 110 box that your mm -hmm. cord plugs into, take that out, plug it directly into that. You're charging your phones. Okay. Where would, where would the HDMI plug in for the TV if there is a plug in? Uh, on the back of the TV. Let's see, where would it be? Right there somewhere. Oh, it wouldn't be over here where the DVD player is? No, you, no. It's that way over there on that one, but not on this one. Uh -huh. That's weird. I did, I have. That's the first time I've seen that in an RV. Where's the HDMI for that TV? Well, if you wanted to plug in, why not have to deal with it? You normally, see those, normally I see an emergency start switch, which is like a uh, automatic jumper cable to start the vehicle off of the coach batteries oh but i don't see one on this coach some of them have them, some don't i've never heard of that um but you could do it very easily right? mm -hmm. when you lift up that step when we go outside i'm mm -hmm. gonna do that control panel all the way out okay that's where your batteries are yeah right yeah there. i saw actually i pulled that up over here before oh okay all right 
So, uh, basically what we have in here, where's our remote? Let's turn this thing on here. Did you come off? Come on. Not what you have to do is well you said there was a cd you got to use for the map it's not a, C it's not a cd it's uh whatever they a little sand disc okay that you're gonna put right here ah okay right uh shit i've got one um let's see let's make sure So, okay, yes. Free insert of map CD is that uh, to use navigation, SanDisk is what that stands for, mm -hmm. function for more information, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you guys want one of those, you can always contact me. Um, I have to, I think I have one in my toolbox somewhere. Um, but you can get in the NTP or call mm -hmm. these guys and they'll send it to you. But they're rather expensive. But they work great. Mm -hmm. So let me go through mode here. Okay, that's volume. Free expert radio, of course. Where's our menu thing here? This is volume. Mute. They don't make you use this, do they? Mode. Oh, I, don't, I get it. Touch screen. I know. I know. So we're going to do is this first. Uh, I don't want to retract. I just want to go like this and go retract. Okay. That'll hit all four of them at one time. Yeah, maybe I just got to do this. Oh. <laughs> retract. Those are the jacks, Chris. It's a leveling system, a hydraulic leveling system. So does it tell you when they're all the way up? Or? Yeah. Well, when it goes up, when I turn the key on, it won't start going nuts on me like that. <laughs> Go back off, man! I, uh, we, we had one in, I, you know, I don't know if it was a sensor or something, it kept telling us one of the jacks was not all the way up, and... And we went out there, and everything was fine, up. and yeah. There and then we started driving there. for a while, and eventually it went off. But yeah. just one of those. And sometimes when that's doing that, it could just be check your hydraulic fluid. Okay. Okay. If it has a little bit of low hydraulic, mm -hmm. it'll do that too. Okay. 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 So now all my jacks are up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this baby off. All up. Air dump. We don't have to worry about that. We don't have a diesel pusher. <laughs> Um, and I don't think, wait a minute, the wife starts mounting off. I know you do have air brake, airbags. <coughs> so let's turn the power on. But I have no way of going to air dump, so that would tell me. That would tell me we don't have air dump, and that makes sense. Okay. <coughs> That's going to be this side. That's going to be that side. It's going to be reverse here in a minute, I think. <coughs> oh, it works back up. Yeah. Probably when you put it in reverse. Well, Yeah. 
This is what I'm looking for. There we okay. go. So now if you're towing something, if you're not towing anything, what you do is you climb up that ladder back there, uh -huh. uh, unscrew it a little bit, angle it back towards you a little bit, and you got a good rear view mirror. Okay. We're driving down the road. Now I believe, can I do it in here? Camera audio. Oh, okay. On. And if I do this, there we go. And of course, there we go. So that's all good there. Now it should go back to there, I think. There we go. Okay. Now it goes back to there. So that's what we want there. Um, and of course, everything I just told you is all right there. Mm -hmm. That's where your DVD player goes. Okay. So now I want to see if I can do this. Now that I'm going to do that. Can I do it here? Can I do it here? Audio, EQ, set up, menu, no, go to, no, 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 no. Okay, so, let's see about this one, this one, this one, this one, not changing, okay, some do, some don't. Okay, that's equalizer, general information, okay, so now. Okay, so basically what you have here is I, uh, sometimes you can turn this thing over to um, uh, to auxiliary here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I do that. Okay, then I go to the camera. If you're not a clumsy fool like I am right here, <laughs> um, what you do is, uh, oh, go back to radio, will you? Radio, Bluetooth audio. Okay, okay, we get it. But you're messing this up. Gosh, I'm losing some. You got that. Navigation off. Okay. Okay. All right. Back to this. Uh, camera. Camera. Okay, so now you hear the wind blow. Uh -huh. And you think someone's sneaking around your own home, right? You can do that. I think you can do this one. Do it. No, I won't do it. Let's keep going. But at least you can hear them and see them back there. Uh -huh. And uh, if you hear anybody back there, you know, you can call the police or whatever. So you can do that even though you're not driving down the road. <laughs> okay, I think maybe even. If I'm holding my tongue right, you can do it when it's off. Okay. So you don't have to alert them. That's, that's what you do. Uh, that's just bad. I'm going to have to turn it off from right here. There we go. And we'll put that in there. So, and then, of course, you got all your Ford controls here. Mm -hmm. um, Ford things are going to be taken care of at the Ford dealership um, as far as engine transmission. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to go outside. What do you think? You ready? Sounds good to me. Mine, because I took one of these. I bought one of these in Chrome. Mm -hmm. I hung it up over here. Okay. Okay. And now when I'm out here, I could rinse off if I needed to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but your hose shoves in. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you don't have to be, you know, a magician to get it wrapped around that darn thing. Uh, because this is usually what leaks when you hear your water pump start cycling and mm -hmm. you've got nothing on. Okay. Because someone has left this knob on. Okay. Okay. Uh, everything I'm going to tell you right now is here. <laughs> okay. So the biggest thing I can tell you is... At least they color-coded it. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Put something right here, like a skull and crossbones, mm -hmm. or you know, something like that, because so many people do this. They take their water hose, mm -hmm. their fresh water hose. Instead of hooking it up to the city water, they hook it up to here, and they turn it on. Well, they're putting all that, and pretty soon the holding tank's laying on the ground underneath the trailer, because <laughs> it's in the wrong mm -hmm. spot. Uh, this is where you hook your water hose up to. 
uh, right here, that's your black tank flusher that we were talking about. So, uh, you guys go out for the weekend, put a quarter tank in it, turn on the hose, go inside until it reaches two thirds, shut the spigot off, mm -hmm. pull the valve. Now everything's gonna flow gotcha. out. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you go to when you go to fill up your port your portable tank, so you guys can pull over and have mm -hmm. lunch or whatever, or you're going dry camp and you mm -hmm. take it all with you. You hook your water hose up in the same place right here and then move it to tank fill which is this direction here mm -hmm. okay now when it's in that direction you're on a water pump and you're using that water if you get to the park then you move it down to here <laughs> okay that city water right there city mm -hmm. water inlet tank flush it's all right there so we're going to go back to normal for us Mm -hmm. yeah, I just uh, heard the pump. Put that in there. That's your bad hole. <laughs> All right. This is your cable TV and satellite right here. Okay. You got all RG6 cable. There's your gray valve. Mm -hmm. There's your black valve and they're color coded. All right. Okay. Added a little hatch door can open up here so you can get to it. That's pretty nice. I like that. Pretty convenient. Mm -hmm. I wish my customer yesterday they had that. He probably used coaches, smaller panels, reading right. 595 resistor, right? Or a $2 well nut. Mm -hmm. Six hours to get to it. Should have had belly <laughs> pans and all this stuff. Well, I know one thing about the city water is uh, a lot of places you have to have a regulator on there. Oh, because they you're going to get a regulator or a hose, yeah. protect your coach. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if it was me, I'd be doing inline water filters too. Mm -hmm. Especially since you've got what you've got. Mm -hmm. I don't have my RV anymore, but I still buy the water filters. It's a pot free rinse. Mm -hmm. Wash your car with it. Do, I mean, it's <laughs> mm -hmm. just pot free rinse. When you pull in your power cord, you're going to plug it in right there. Okay. okay? That's so when you turn on the generator, you got power. So whenever you unplug it from there, mm -hmm. it's never unplugged. That's the big thing to remember. Unplug it from there, you shove it in here carefully. You know, get it nice. Mm -hmm. That's going to save you from trying to show <laughs> yeah. it in. Mm -hmm. It goes in right here. Okay. Okay. Um, if your generator don't work, that's probably what we forgot to do. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Ah, uh, storage. You have the other right, right here. Back yeah. Over here. Uh, generators here. You can start and stop it from out here, too. Okay. Okay. So it's got a button, and there's also. Um, a little breaker there. Mm -hmm. It says breaker arrow right there. <laughs> okay, so if you're traveling and you know that's plugged in right, but you're still mm -hmm. not getting power, go there. However, it doesn't happen very often. Is there any uh, maintenance involved on the generator? At 150 hours, the air cleaner okay. has the air cleaner part number right on the box. Okay. Right. Um, and that's it. At 300 hours, I think is oil. In there, okay. But you'll see that in your manual. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we carry it all of it here, but in your any RV place, mm -hmm. you just walk in. I got a 4.0, and they'll give you the right stuff. Yeah, it probably won't drive an hour for an air filter. Yeah. But... Huh. <laughs> right. Okay. What else? Okay. Just go to the front. Mm -hmm. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna have them level that up. Okay. Everything else was kosher. So you got your air. You got your oil goes in here. Tranny fluid here, washer fluid here. Where's our oil stick? How come I'm not just tearing right at it? Maybe down down here. You see it there? There's some kind of stick. Yep. There yep. she blows. All right. Okay. Uh, fuse boxes are here. Uh, other than that, there you go. Uh, washer fluid. There's your start battery up here. Uh, all right, pretty basic. It's a, it's a four drop, uh -huh. right? Uh, yeah, that's one of the biggest misconceptions in the RV business. <laughs> you go over to, after the warranties are all uh -huh. over, you go over to Craig and you want a water pump for this, right? I got a, I got a Leprechaun, right? Uh -huh. They look at you like a deer caught in the headlight. I got an E450 Super Duty Man. Uh -huh. I need this water pump, they'll hand it right to you. <laughs> but if you put, you uh -huh. put RV in there anywhere, uh -huh. they freeze up on yeah. you. I know, they call me all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, folks, we're about there. Cool. Okay, so.